I feel like it's Christmas. Like, I'm one of those people that never ever win anything in their life, no matter how many contests I try to enter. Tagging is kind of like the same thing. If I get tagged on something, I get so excited and feel so happy about it. Jake over at Man Caring Thing and Rachel at Shipwreck Library, thank you so much for tagging me in the small booktuber tag. Hello everyone, I'm Sandra, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be super quick. I'm bringing it to the floor so we can be a little more intimate in here. A couple of weeks ago, Jake over at Man Caring Thing tagged me and a bunch of other really cool booktubers in the small booktuber tag. I am going to kind of answer those questions in, in this tag video today and then tag a, a few more small booktubers that you guys should check out. So hopefully it'll be fun. The first question is, it just says to introduce yourself. So again, my name is Sandra. I am 35 years old. I am a parent. I have a little boy, Vincent, that will be turning four in January. I feel like booktube has a good mix of, you know, the, the, the younger, hip kids, you know who you are. And then, you know, those of us who are kind of parents, we're in our 30s, you know, maybe older, and we're just kind of, we're, we're hanging in there by threads. That doesn't really tell you anything about me. Okay, 35 years old, Sandra. I was born in Japan. My dad served 20 years in the Navy. He met my mom overseas in the Philippines. And I've moved around quite a bit. I've lived in Seattle area, Japan obviously, San Diego, currently living in Arkansas. I went to college in Missouri, lived in Kansas City. I've, I've moved around a lot and then, you know, when I was a kid, every summer I used to go visit my mom's family in the Philippines. Love to travel. Typically every other year my partner and I will take just a me and him trip overseas. So a couple years ago it was Italy. We traveled all through Italy for two weeks. And then two years before that, we went to Asia and we went back to Japan, Philippines, Taiwan to see his best friend. And then we went to Thailand in Phuket there. We just, we really love to travel. 2020 ruined everything. This was our year to take another couple's trip. And we had planned on going to Australia and New Zealand. Obviously that didn't happen. Maybe next year, we'll see how the world looks at that point, but Mid 30s person over here, parent over here, so I feel their pain. Yeah, no longer in college. Studied math and psychology in college. When I went, I intended on being a biology major. I was really, I still am interested in forensic science in uh, just criminology really and just what motivates people to do the terrible things that they tend to do But I had a professor. He was a tenured professor named Dr. Ficus. He looked like Colonel Mustard or something He was always wearing a suit always smoking a pipe He had this big white mustache and on exam days He would have the boys dress up in suits and then the girls would he would expect to dress up in you know Long skirts or a dress. It was just he yeah Whatever, I did not like that guy. I really struggled with his class. It was actually the reason that made me switch and to go into, into math. No regrets, math is a perfectly practical study. I feel fortunate to have been able to have the opportunities that I have. I would say if there's anything that I am truly passionate about, it's books, it's stories, it's writing. I started journaling as a little girl and it just kind of grew into this love of stories and I've been trying to write novels ever since like my early 20s, right after graduating college. It wasn't ever a thought that I really entertained having, but being in the real world, corporate America, just turned me off. I was at my most depressed ever, probably at the age of 24, 25, but it's been getting better. Once you learn to just kind of shut out and ignore all of that other stuff and f focus on yourself and what makes you happy and how you can make that like a valid pursuit and go after that, then life is so much better that way when you stay authentic to yourself. That is a little bit about me. I also like video games. I like to watch sci-fi, fantasy TV shows, all of that good stuff. If, if it's story related, it's fair game. Okay, question two. What types of videos do you make? I mean, it's booktube, so wrap up TBRs. I will review books or series. I hope to do more like reading lifestyle content, if that makes sense, whether it's tactics or strategies for different things. So we'll, we'll see. I have some ideas, but 
yeah, if it's if it's story related or book related, I do want to review video games, show adaptations, and things like that. So What do I love about booktube? So far, every person I have interacted with has been wholeheartedly, just genuinely supportive and really enthusiastic about books and stories and, you know, the same types of things that I do that I, is missing from my personal life. There aren't hardly any people in my personal life that I know that like to read, ever. And so it's just been really fun this year, finally just saying, you know, screw it. I'm going to make a YouTube channel and see who I can meet and talk to about these things. And it's been really fun. So I will say that is what I love about booktube. Occasionally you'll have some know-it-all drop a comment on a video. There's always like that negative person, but I think it just says more about who they are as a video watcher or a, a reviewer than it does about your own content most times, so just let it roll off. Just roll off. What types of books do I like to read? I like to read everything. I like classic books. I like horror. I like fantasy, science fiction. Love YA fantasy. A lot of people shit all over the YA genre, but YA is the genre of firsts, and I just love that new, fresh, optimistic feeling that comes with YA, that innocent, tender kind of vibe, and that's why I like YA, so. You know, people have their preferences. I, I like it all. Poetry, short story collections, I'm, I'm really just fair game for any of it. I'm trying to read more nonfiction, but nonfiction is one of those things I'd rather like listen to that content in a podcast or an audiobook or something like that, or watch like a YouTube video on that topic, just because it's nonfiction to me is just so lecture-ish. But I'm trying to read more nonfiction. Question six, what's your favorite video that you've made? Probably... This was an early video, so the quality is so bad. I'm like, I'm so awkward. I The video starts off and I'm just like, hey guys! Like my voice is super high pitched. I just like awkwardly pause and I'm quiet. It, it was awkward. It's the unpopular opinion video on the Sarah J Mass, the new A Court of Thorns and Roses book covers. That's probably my favorite video just because I was so new and bushy-tailed and bright-eyed and awkward, but it's also my most viewed video. It, it officially went over a thousand views. It's probably also the most polarizing video in terms of like the discussion on that video because there are so many people, I think the majority of people just do not like the new book covers while I love them and I think that they make a lot more sense for the series than the previous books did. And just the content matter of that series is more adult than YA in my opinion. I'm open to reading smutty material and there's plenty of smut to go around in, in, that, in that thing. That's probably my favorite video for just a combination of those reasons. I think I'm going to do a follow-up video for that because I just, I cringe whenever, like it's my best performing video, but I just cringe knowing that because I know what the quality is like, but I've just had time to stew about some of the talking points of that video and there's, I still have more to say about it to try and convince people that those book covers are perfect for the series. So I will probably push another one of those out. Anyways, that was very long winded. Uh, question eight is really, it's just a final step. So tag at least four small booktubers or every small channel I can think of. Well, my 35 year old mind can't really think of anything. Jake already tagged so many of these channels and everyone probably follows them already. Rachel at Shipwrecked Library, she tagged me as well. I'll go ahead and say Jess over at Verity Books. She has such a polished way of doing her reviews and, and wrap ups and She's such a good person. So go give her channel a view if you like. She reads all kinds of things and she makes sure to diversify her TBR list, which is, I need to do more of that myself. But Jess at Verity Books, David DeCero, Dwayne over at Flipping Pages, Mare Reads, Chase at Fantasy Talk. I'm drawing a complete blank and I hate scripting things out. I'm just going to link all of the, the small booktubers that I really love and can, can think of and put them down in the description box. So definitely check that out. And this is way longer than I wanted it to be already. So I hope you enjoyed a learning a little bit about me and I'm so happy that you're here and I will see you on Thursday. I try and publish videos every Thursday. So this one was just 
an anomaly right now. Okay, bye.